Okay, in this video we're going to fire up the Roku 2 XS for the very first time. I'm going to plug it in. We have a little dancing Roku here. And there we go, we have the setup. Welcome to Roku. Setting up your Roku player should take just a few minutes. You'll connect to your home network, download the latest Roku software if needed, and link your Roku player to your Roku account. Press OK on your remote to get started. For help with setup, visit roku.com slash setup. So we're going to press OK on the remote here. Setup. Select connection type. Select the type of network connection you wish to use. Select wireless if you want to connect to your wireless network. You will need to know your network name, SSID, and password if you have one. Which you always should have one, by the way. You always should have a password. Have a secured wireless network in your house. Uh, next bullet point. Select Ethernet if you have connected your Roku player to your router with an Ethernet cable. I have not done that, so I'm going to go with wireless. Okay, I entered in my wireless information and set up the Roku 2 on my home wireless network. Once it connected to my home wireless network, it noticed that it had a software update that it had to load up. So I selected to do the software update, it loaded it up, and right now it's rebooting the device. Okay, so the Roku 2 has rebooted and it gives me this option here. It says set up display type. Choose the option that best matches your TV resolution. Well, we're going to go with 720p because this television is 720p. Unfortunately, it's not 1080. I have to upgrade my TV at some point. Click on that. Okay, the next step in the process, it says next link your Roku player to your Roku account. So I have to go to the Roku website, enter in this code, and this code expires in 30 minutes, so it's not going to work for you, but uh, I have to enter that code in and link up my account, so let me do that right now. Okay, I went on my computer and I linked my Roku device to my Roku account, because I already had a Roku account. If you're just purchasing a Roku for the very first time, you have the option to create a Roku account during this process. What's happening right now is that uh, my Roku is being updated, and it looks as if all of the channels that I had on my previous Roku device are being updated to my new Roku device. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to worry about re-downloading anything. So it seems as if it's uh, going through. It's at um, 14 of 45 channels that it's downloading to the device and uh, one of the new channels that was updated or uploaded onto the device here is the free Angry Birds game and I'm anxious to try that out. So I'm gonna let this do what it's doing here and I'll join you when it's done. Okay the setup is complete it says congratulations you have successfully set up your Roku player. Select go to home screen and let's start streaming. So let me click my OK button on my remote and here we go. Now the interface looks a little bit different. It has a black background as opposed to the white background on the Roku 1 device. Uh, I didn't know that there was going to be much difference. Uh, it does seem a little bit snappier when I move from channel to channel here. So that's the Roku 2. A couple of slight differences. They're visual mostly. Uh, the menu is a little bit different as I mentioned before. And on this device obviously you can play Angry Birds and hopefully more games like that will be coming soon. The device seems a little bit snappier than the original Roku, but we'll actually find out for sure in my next video. In my next video, I'm actually going to pit the Roku 1 versus the Roku 2 and see if there is any difference in performance between the two devices. Obviously, with the Roku 2, you get the addition of the motion control gaming and games the quality of Angry Birds. So that pretty much does it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I'd fire up the Roku 2 for the very first time. Uh, join me for my next video. And if you do want to know more about Roku, check out uh, my channel. I have several videos on Roku. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a link to a playlist of every video I've ever done on Roku. So if you're interested, please check that out. So that does it for this video. I will see you next time.